Well, it has finally happened. Um, something that I think we all knew was going to come at some point. Maybe not this early, but I think we all knew it was going to come. Kingpin has officially gone bankrupt. Which means the second round, which would have had King Kenny versus Winderson Nunez as the main event, Gibb versus Jarvis, which I think everyone was really fucking looking forward to. Like, you know, other ones like Elbrook and, you know, all, all the fights, all the fights that we we're all looking forward to. It has now been cancelled. It was supposed to be, I believe, on the 16th of July in literally two weeks. And it has now been cancelled. It has fallen through. They've went bankrupt. It's Happy Punch Promotions, I think, officially announced it, which obviously is run by Keemstar. Um, they've gone bankrupt. And I think we all saw it coming. I think it's the case of... <clears throat> They, they clearly started up the tournament. They wanted it to be a big thing. And I said at the beginning, I feel like a lot of people were on the same page of, we didn't think that it was going to rival Misfits. But we thought the tournament would be a nice alternative to Misfits at the tournament events, obviously. It wasn't going to be a consistent thing like Misfits, but it was going to be every while there was going to be a round of a tournament. And I think it grabbed our interest because we were going to say, right, on Misfits, we have great fights. But this tournament meant no one could run, no one could duck anyone. Everyone who signed up, Austin McBroom versus Gibb, if Austin didn't want that rematch, he got matched up against Gibb, didn't matter, he had to have that rematch, and we saw how that went down. And it was that kind of thing of there was no ducking, there was no diving. The only way that you avoid it is to just get out of the tournament and you probably lose your purse then. So I think everybody was excited for this. I was very excited for this. I enjoyed the fucking first round very much. The second round, I was really looking forward to. I wanted to see how Wenderson Nunez did against someone who really fights back, like Kenny. I wanted to see if Kenny, if Wenderson Nunez was as talented as he looked in the first one, or if Kenny was just going to prove experience was too much for him, if he was going to put on the same show that he did against my man. I wanted to see Jarvis versus Gibb. I think that honestly would might have been one of the best fights in YouTube boxing because Gibb just has the pace, the re the resistance, the constant pressure, all of that. Jarvis just is tough as fuck and literally just has good boxing skill as a beginner. And these two were going to clash. Gibbs' cardio was going to really be a big factor, and I think Jarvis's toughness was going to be a big factor, and I genuinely didn't know what was going to go down. I believe Gibb would have won, but am I confident Gibb would have won? Who knows? I think Jarvis would have made it very hard for him, and Gibb would have made it very hard for him, and I was very excited for that, but now we're not getting that second round. And I'm kind of pissed, because I was really looking forward to it. I've literally done, like, three videos on this tournament, and I just didn't get around to uploading them and now there's I might as well not I just can't upload them now because one of them was Gibb versus Jarvis and the breakdown of their pros and their cons there's no point uploading it now because the the thing's cancelled it's cancelled <laughs> but hey man we all saw it coming they probably paid Gibb a big purse they probably paid Jarvis a big purse Austin McBroom they probably paid a lot of them a good bit of money thinking that oh these names will bring in the thing but like bring in all the audience but we saw in the first round, which is after, you know, Wenderson Nunez fought and Polka as well. It's Gibb versus Austin McBroom, the main event. Everybody left. Everybody just left. And this is what KSI said, which was you need to promote. For You got to remember, you're a YouTube boxer. YouTube comes first. You need to promote your fight. And that is it. You need to actually stay on top of it. You need to continue to be a YouTuber, promote your fight, get people involved. And they just weren't doing that. And I think that's why I fell through because Kingpin literally thought, oh yeah, let's just throw these money at these fighters, get them involved. And then they'll promote, the audience will come and we'll earn that back. But I think they put too much money in at the start to the point where there was no longevity in this thing. And I think we all knew it wasn't going to end. I thought the tournament would end and then Kingpin might go bankrupt. I thought maybe the final would be the case of there wasn't many tickets sold in and after the tournament. The winner of the tournament, say Gibb, if Gibb won the tournament, Kingpin would go bankrupt and then Misfits would be offering Gibb a bit of a different situation to bring him over to Misfits then because then if he wins the tournament, maybe they'll want him to fight someone like Salt Poppy. Maybe KSI wants to fight him, I don't know. But I thought that's what would have happened, but we ain't getting to see that. And it's a real shame because I really liked having an alternative to Misfits every now and then, having a having the turn tournament as well because I just thought it was a really good concept there was no ducking no diving male and female I really enjoyed it and it's a shame that it hasn't continued 
But what's next now? <clears throat> because Gib fought on social gloves. It's bankrupt. It's done. Dusted. Then he fought on Kingpin. It's done. Dusted. The only place now is Misfits. The only place to YouTube boxing is Misfits. Like, it's good. I love Misfits and all, but I think you need an alternative. You do need an alternative, and that's the issue. We were kind of hoping Kingpin would be that alternative every now and again, at least. But Misfits ain't going to offer Gib a good amount that he wants. Jarvis, I see Jarvis going over the Misfits. King Kenny was already on Misfits. He'll come back. I see Wenders and Nunez going to Misfits because KSI has showed uh, potential in fighting him. But even if it's not him, I think he'll come to Misfits. Elbrook was already at Misfits, I believe. I'm not too sure. Um... You know, I think a lot of these ones will probably come over to Misfits, but the big one, like Gib, I don't know what the future holds for him because will they offer him enough? Will he want to go to Misfits? Because he said he will go to Misfits and take Misfits down, but I don't know. But I think that's probably the best option after all these fighters. They all got paid at least. At least it went bankrupt, and it's a shame, but at least all the fighters got paid on, like, social gloves. Um, I think the best chance for them is to go to Misfits. I think Jarvis and Gibb, KSI is a smart businessman. KSI is happy the Kingpin tournament probably fell through. So was a lot of misfits, Mams, Taylor and all. But if they're smart, they are good businessmen. If they're smart, they will try to bring Gibb to misfits again. They'll try to bring Jarvis and they'll try to make Gibb versus Jarvis happen on misfits as a main event. Or the, obviously KSI wants Winters Nunez or King Kenny versus Winters. They'll try to recreate a lot of these matchups, but especially Gibb versus Jarvis, I think they'll try and bring that to Misfits and try and profit from that because, in my opinion, if you don't, that's not a good business move. People wanted to see this. I know no one really bought tickets, but that was for the overall event. I think the YouTube community proved they wanted to see Gibb versus Jarvis, and I think we all proved it was going to be a competitive fight and we really wanted to. I think you bring them the Misfits, you make that a fight. It doesn't matter if it's a main event, doesn't matter if it's an undercard, but I think you could use that as main event. I think you have three good main events lined up. I think if KSI and Tommy Fury can sort the deal, I know KSI said the deal's done after 6 p.m., but it'll probably continue to negotiate. I think that could be a main event. Wild Sharks versus Dean the Great could be a main event, and Gibb versus Jarvis could be a main event. That's three misfits main events sorted that I think would draw attention and bring people in. So I think business move, bring them the misfits, get that down. But will the fighters agree to go? I don't know. But overall, Kingpin is now bankrupt. The tournament is over. I'm very, I'm quite annoyed because I was really, really looking forward to, like I said, recording videos on it and I was just hyped for it. I was just really excited for it. But it is what it is. We all saw it coming. Unfortunately, it came too soon. But let me know in the comments below what is your opinions of the Kingpin thing. Did you see this coming? I think we all did like, but did you see it coming as early as it did? What do you think that all the fighters should do? King Kenny will obviously go back, Misfits, blah, blah, blah. What do you think the likes of Winderson Nunes, L. Brooke, uh, Gibb, Jarvis, what do you think that they should all do? Do you think they should go to Misfits? Do you think Misfits should try to get them? What do you think should happen? Who do you think their opponents should be? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Like I said, it's a shame, but it is what it is. Can't turn it back. But that is my thoughts on the Kingpin uh, tournament and Kingpin going <laughs> fucking bankrupt. <laughs> that's it but yeah as always hope you all enjoyed hope you all think put positive and test negative hope you all have an amazing day stay safe i'll see you in the next one so uh peace